Okay. I think I fixed it. All right, I think it's fixed. All right, this is the beginning. This is the beginning. I started it over. If you would have seen it a minute ago, it was like, holy shit. I think it may have been my smeared hands, my dirty hands. I do wash my hands though, all the time. <laughs> Even when I go pee pee. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Those that don't know me, I am Tara. I am your high priestess. <clears throat> I try to get on this for hours and hours and hours, and it doesn't work that way. Oh, that's the... I mean, still, I think I may put the little clip on. This is Egyptian sun god Ra back here. Apparently, I can move light with my body. I'm trying to do this, but I have rodents sometimes that are making me stuck that I can't move where I want to move. <clears throat> so I can't get the right angle of things, you know. I'm gonna take that off. Hi. Hang to this. Maybe that work. I could continue going on with Mercury Retrograde because I have Pi nine more signs to do. But I think I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to do something different. I am listening to Alien Abduction Live. See you. This is a little studio thing. I, maybe I don't know what's doing. I'm gonna change it though. I'm gonna change this one. I'm gonna change this one. I don't want to. my history. Oh, it's the Merkaba. This is the Merkaba. Awaken. Maybe I should move that. Hopefully my butt's not showing. Sorry guys. Okay. This is Merkaba Awaken. I like this one. Start from the beginning so you can hear what they say. As I'm playing this, I will, as I'm playing this, I'm gonna do my white light, be my unicorn color, bring in white light, release, dark energy, anything that doesn't serve us needs to be gone. I'm gonna light some incense. I ran out of sage, so I'm kinda screwed, glued, and tattooed with that. Um, I'll figure it out. Oh. Now they're like, no, we're not going to do this for you.
wasn't it? They say something. <laughs> they talk for a second. This is the Merkaba Awakening. So as this is playing, I'm gonna do the smoke, clear the energy, get the cards ready. So I'm not gonna talk much right now. I love you. I'm still here for you guys. Don't go nowhere. It's gonna go into a meditative state and keep going. Let's do this. Like we need this. Create your own reality, people. Why don't you dream a different dream? You ready for it? Are you ready? Merkaba weakening. Angel Raphael's healing light for you. Sent to you. Spirit needs you to drink water or they won't connect. They won't connect. That's why I drink a lot of water.
Wait, wait. Blue light. Pure divine. Pure love. Green light. Archangel Raphael's healing. Ascended Master. St. Germain's Violet Flame Protection Shield. I'm going to take all those colors, swarm them around, and make our unicorn color. And love and light. Anything that is dark, negative, or evil will be released. It will not come to the light. Anyone that wants to communicate and deliver messages out of love and light will come to the light. And we accept out of love and light. Love one. Some God love. I am the Just move. That was like a sneak. This right here. As soon as I hit the record button, you start watching our messages for you. Even this. Watch the smoke, watch the lights. It's communicating with the universe. Somehow, I think. Well, I've been doing this since I started doing tarot on YouTube, so. And so it's gonna almost a couple of years now. Holy shit. Anything that has a glare, anything. Glare. Okay. I really don't know what I'm doing today, so I'm just doing I'll see who's here with the pendulum. Do you see all the colors? White, blue, green, purple, violet. You can see them all. That's the unicorn color. I made out love and light. I made that up. I made that up. Is, is my bouncer here today?
You are activated with the unicorn color of love and light. <laughs> Three days. I just seen 11-11. Merkaba. 11-11. I said in the beginning, start over. Start over again. And create your reality. Your mind and your words create, have created everything so far. You can create heaven. You can create hell. You can create what they say. You can create there's the word. Not stardom. They said something. When I hear it again, I'll get upset. Fame. Fortune. You can create anything you want. 11 11. All right, let me turn this down. Well, yeah, I think Merkaba would be doing a techno awaken. It's actually pretty cool, huh? Merkaba. All right. Who is here and what am I doing today? Am I on the right track of my thoughts with this? Yes or no? Who's here to deliver these messages first of all? Whatever message they you want to deliver. Raw, 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 is in the house. Are we gonna wing this wrong? We're gonna wing this. Do you even know what that means? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna use my intuition. Are you gonna help guide me? For beautiful people. Beautiful people. Let's see what zodiac signs here, okay? Okay. Let me just communicate for one second. See what Zodiac signs here for us. We're gonna do the like. No, no, that was my Sophie. No. Oh my god. No. Why are you Jesus Christ. It's me. Sorry, 
I don't understand. I don't understand. Why is the dog have to bark? It was just me. Yeah, it's good. just like took me like out of my spot man it's upsetting so this is for the collective this could be for cancer um which is um i was supposed to do cancer yesterday from mercury retrograde so it doesn't have to be for cancer. Somebody could be dealing with somebody that has cancer in their chart. Or if you're, if you're not cancer, you could have cancer somewhere in your chart. So, Taurus. Gemini. So let me just shuffle a little bit. video before this is I think maybe part one for the mothership for you too. If you didn't watch it, I'd greatly appreciate it if you do. Um, you may not understand a lot of it. I have a bunch of videos over on Facebook with it, but actually it was, it was a good night tonight. They really, they show themselves. Who's they, they say? I really don't know. Death. <laughs> Death. <laughs> Somebody very egotistical. Death. Very heavy burden on all of us. The emperor it is. It's the emperor. And they put the world and closed it on death. Or death could have been Scorpio each time. I was calling death out. Interesting. Somebody could be very abusive. A Taurus. Sexually abusive. Gemini. Verbally, physically abusive. Taurus, Gemini. Death. Scorpio is really winning the show. Every time I said death, it's a Scorpio card. I just did Scorpio for Mercury Retrograde. Leo, the sun. The enemy, Sagittarius. Or no, Aquarius. I'm sorry. Who's the enemy? Aquarius. The Emperor. Emperors. The Emperor is the enemy. Oh my god. I just gotta show you. Oh my god, I got I got lost it. I just seen death again. I know I gotta go. Death. I'm not just seeing it, just see it, so it gets, like, sits there for a second. <clears throat> Karma. Wheel of Fortune. Pisces. Ooh. Virgo, Capricorn, the Devil, Two of Cups. Hermit, Virgo. Taurus, Sagittarius is the world. Justice, somebody's hanging. Somebody in jail. Somebody hang themselves. Yeah. 
Leo needs strength. You need strength from Leo. Strength. Double strength from Leo. Come on. For the hangman. Possibly somebody that's hanging themselves right now. Hopefully not early. Need strength for the devil. Virgo, Capricorn, Leo. Karma's here. Aquarius. Aquarius is bringing karma to a Leo, Virgo, Capricorn. Capricorn, Leo, Aquarius bring karma to one another. They have to balance it out with a Sagittarius, possibly. Again, you can have possibly Sagittarius. Any of these signs in your natal chart. I'm just shuffling these and where my eyes go. It's usually where the cards... I use my intuition doing this part. Balancing things out. Balancing things out with a cancer or gotta balance things out with this karma, with this devil, with your need strength, you gotta balance things out, devil. You gotta balance things out because you possibly are gonna come into union with your twin flame. Something's going to die in rebirth. Unless you're dealing with Scorpio. Oh, there's a lovers in here. The lovers could be a third party energy. Mm -hmm. Clarity is going to come because possibly a Leo is going to bring clarity. And then this Gemini could be. Bringing in the judge. Somebody could be going to court. Or a court with the universe. There is a brand new beginning with. There is a brand new beginning with finances. Somebody. I don't know if that's Virgo, Scorpio. Somebody is entrepreneur. There's an entrepreneur, and this there's a Libra could be involved or the justice system. Somebody's getting justice because somebody's got to see the judge. So there will be justice for Aries. Aries could also be Scorpio. Scorpio. <laughs> Five of Cups. Pisces. Mm. Three of Cups. There could be celebration with this hangman. I said, possibly. Being in jail. The hangman is actually Pisces. Next card is King of Cups, Scorpio, Libra. There could be some kind of judgment or justice in the legal system with these 
signs. I don't know. Libra again. Three swords in the heart with a legal system. Something that was very, very painful. And three of swords is now reversed. So possibly the pain... Could be going away. The ego may be getting let go. It's backwards. Anubis. What is written there? Oh. Actually, I get codes all over me, and Anubis has these codes just really. Smack me in my face for a second here. I'm going to put Anubis to the side. Anubis is egotistical. His ego might be getting let go. I don't know. Ooh. Hierophant. Taurus. Marriage. Or seeking a new path of joining a spiritual group joining something that's the Red Hats lady <laughs> if you know who they are joining some kind of or joining your own path of spirituality Pisces Ten of Cups Happy Life Abundance got to go on. King of Swords, upright. Virgo, Aquarius. That's he's very powerful and well. You got the King of Swords over here, and then the King. Night of, I just wanted to see something. Night of Wands in reversed. Virgo, Aquarius, Scorpio. Hmm. So Sagittarius. Interesting. All the key players. You probably wonder what the hell I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I love you. <laughs> All right. Let me just. I just want to see this. King of Swords upright, so he's powerful. Okay. Again, things can be worded, you know, metaphorically. So And these, the, I'm just shuffling. I'm, I, I'm just, you know, just playing. Um, intelligent and analysis, perspective, the ability to understand complex situations. And, okay. Person who, who demonstrates authority, power, decisiveness. That's all somebody, I know that's a Virgo actually, as good as all this sounds <laughs> he's all this with a negative twist on it he's all the um wonderful knowledgeable <laughs> incisive strong intelligent official documents you know legal he's all he's good he's smart he's all of this he's all of this and it's a shame because he's all of this he's all of this upright but he'll be upside down in a heartbeat with this, which is loss of perspective, cruelty, ruthlessness, tendency to overthink problems, Virgo, and an ability to see what's right in front of you, a lack of sensitivity. He has been diagnosed with um, antisocial personality disorder and the reason I'm talking about him because I've been talking about him 
because he has my children and I want my children back and he doesn't deserve them and I'm going to talk about it on here and I don't care. A win at all cost mentality. Google anti-social personality disorder. You tell me if that person should have children. All, this is all I do my whole life. This is what I'm doing now. Knight of Swans. Now that's in reverse and that's Scorpio Sagittarius. Frustration, delays, energy for forward movement but not solid results yet. Anxiousness to get started on something, perhaps before all ready to go. Be sure to pay attention to details at this time. Someone who comes on too strong, whether romantically in business or in a family dynamic. Okay. That sounds like me. <laughs> I'm going to have to pause this. I have to go pee. There's a snake in the grass. I don't know why I just said that. Why would I say there's a snake in the grass? I don't even think there's a snake on here, but for some reason, I seen a snake in the grass. Did I just have a hair front? Did I pick that up? Taurus, the marriage, the Pisces, moon card. There's um, uh, Pisces may be coming into clarity, actually. Um, there might be an equal exchange of finances with a Taurus. <laughs> With the Queen of Cups, the loving, nurturing mother with the Taurus. Six of Pentacles is... <sighs> You're playing all the... Um... You're doing... That's crazy. I'm going to have to pause this one second. I have to go to the bathroom. I apologize. <laughs> I'm going to pause it, though. So, I'll be right back. Didn't even seem like I was gone, did it, guys? <laughs> okay, in the beginning, it seemed like the, he was, the Scorpio card was really pre prevalent. So... You guys ready? We're going to be doing the light sears. I'll do four cards with the light sears, and then we're going to be doing illuminated tarot. I'm going to throw a couple cards out with the, um, with the regular deck, just see what cards come out again, and then we're good. This is for anybody who's watching. Like I said, anybody can have a zodiac sign in their chart, so it's just a general reading. I do not like when I run out of sage. need a bundle of it. <laughs> that might mean something. <clears throat> I'm going to leave those cards there because I <clears throat> really felt like they were pushed out.
I have a strong urge to do it like this. So, see how the cards, I don't know if you can see it, if it's too dark, but how the cards just go like whip out of my hand like that. Feels powerful. I took this card is because it's just like flipped and just stared at me in my face. It's just weird. This one's like laying in front of me, flipped upside down. Scorpio, death and rebirth. Judgment. Because some you could begin, there could be something's being judged at this moment. <clears throat> Somebody is feeling like they're being attacked in every single way. Not just attacked, but being pecked by. Birds. Did you ever see that Alfred Hitchcock movie, Birds? You know, that really happened. He was very abusive to that girl. I think sexually and everything. Or I don't know if she wouldn't do it with him or something. And then he was nasty to her. And like, he, she was like really in that phone booth with all those birds pecking at her in real life. He was a psycho. Psycho. She seems like she's blinded and these birds are like, Wrapping her up in something and possibly pecking at her, and she wants to get away. <clears throat> Maybe Scorpio's feeling like that, and there's gonna be something's being judged at this time. Somebody's hanging around. There's somebody. 
I mean, it's just hanging there. Upside down like a bat. <laughs> They're just hanging. Chilling. Somebody's hanging. Scorpio? I don't know. There's the Pisces, there was the Taurus, there was the La Libra, there was a Gemini, there was an Aquarius, there was a Leo, there was a Sagittarius and a Virgo, and I think one, a Cancer. I think I just named all the freaking signs <laughs> of the Zodiac. <laughs> no, I didn't. And I didn't mention Aries. Oh, I, there was an Aries, because I said Aries is also Scorpio. Somebody's light bulb moment went off. Ding, ding, ding. Somebody has got a light bulbs of ideas. Possibly this person that's hanging around. Here's a card over here. I just want to pick it up. Somebody's manifesting something. They're manifesting. Oh. There is money. Um, there could be somebody gambled with money. Somebody um, is not negotiating with money correctly. Is there some kind of money? Let me just read that. Five Steve, I'm sorry. Um, there is a difficult <laughs> money. I mean, I guess money is a difficult opponent. There's a difficult opponent. Possibly something disappointing happened to you. Something was judged, and a disappointment happened. So somebody's hanging around, an idea goes off in their head. Oh, here it goes. Scorpio's here, um, dying, we're dying right now. Somebody's, they're feeling Pecked at, blinded. There's a difficult opponent that somebody's dealing with. Possibly it's the Scorpio. And somebody needs to seek judgment, the judge. So this difficult opponent could have been a disappointment for somebody. So somebody starts hanging around, just chilling out, not doing anything, and a bunch of light bulb moments come off. Ideas, creating something new. Magician, somebody's becoming their own magician. what this one is. Let's see if I have a or Eight of Hearts.
So you got this Scorpio. You got this death, some death and rebirth thing going on. There's a difficult opponent, opponent, possibly a disappointment. Somebody's being pecked at, being blinded. So somebody possibly wants to go see the judge. Somebody was being judged by something. It possibly caused a disappointment. Somebody could have possibly went to jail or just sat back and hung around, just hanging, just hanging, just chilling. So I take hangman as, you know, possibly jail or just hanging around, just chilling, thinking. Thinking. Manifesting. That's the magician. This is hanging. Hanging, making magic happen. The light bulb goes off. <clears throat> and unfortunately, Pisces possibly is here now. And there could just be a lot of secrets, a lot of illusions and delusions, just not seeing clear seeing clear clearly. Somebody's not seeing clearly. Somebody from the past <clears throat> is coming, or could have shown already, something from the past. Something from the past possibly needs clarity. needs clarity possibly with a Taurus possibly need to go to something spiritual going their own spiritual path or maybe go on um, join some kind of club religion whatever so be it or do something themselves the that's for their own good, or could be a marriage card, so we could be getting married. <sighs> but I don't know, because somebody's looking very depressed, suicidal, not happy at all. Somebody's holding on very tight of their money. Could be the Taurus. They got the Pisces. What's Pisces doing? Is Pisces the one from the past? Or is Taurus the one from the past? It's Pisces, who's the one that had to go see the judge and had a disappointment? Is it the Pisces? Or Scorpio? Or Virgo? No, Hangman's Pisces. So somebody's holding tight of the money. Somebody's holding tight. Somebody's coming from the past. Hmm. 
I have seen the emperor and the balancing money out. Okay. Virgo, Capricorn, the devil. Celebration. The devil could be at hand right now. I could be Virgo, Capricorn. There's celebration after the devil. So somebody's going to be celebrating. who this devil is and who's celebrating and who this depression is. What about who's in the depression? I would think the depression is going to be the one. Ooh. Okay. Okay. There's going to be a debate. The high priestess is here. It's going to be a debate with a high priestess. Okay, I always forget what this says, I don't know why. I do know why. Somebody's having a struggle to stay ahead. Somebody's debating or battling with somebody. This, possibly this high priestess, maybe. High priestess is actually a Taurus. Maybe the Taurus is debating with somebody that's having a struggle to stay ahead. Queen of Diamonds. The, the bonding, the motherly bonding, nurturing. So Taurus could be having a battle with this Queen of um, Diamonds, this nurturing per person, male, female, doesn't matter. There's a high priestess involved and, and the battle is struggle, it's a struggle. And right here is the emperor. Somebody's very depressed. Something quick is coming in. The chariot. Knight of Wands. Let me just see. I know, I know it's I'm not showing you guys the cards. I apologize. I gotta stop that. An entrepreneur, spirit, natural born leader, ideas. So the light bulb, a chariot, something's fast coming in. Five of swords, depression, headaches, the devil, the emperor, somebody from the past. I don't remember what I else showed you. Holding on to your cups. Or your money. We're going to have to finish this up. We're in an hour already. I can't believe it. Alright, we're off. I mean, I can... Somebody's balancing their money. There is a beginning of, of wealth for somebody, for the Queen of Cups, the nurturing, loving mother. Um, there is a, a, a light there. There's a red light, slow down, green. Where are we at? Are we slowing down? Are we going? I think we might be going because we're at the beginning. 
<laughs> but the enemy's here. Are we going to take that leap of faith? There has to be an equal give and take. Charity kind of moment. A charity moment. With the king, the king of pentacles. So I mean, very, 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 very wealthy. Page of Cups is all in their head. They're dreaming, manifesting of um, love and money. This must be a Pisces. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Where's my book? Oh, let me see what this is. I hope it doesn't shut off. Keep doing that. Letting go, releasing that which no longer serves you. Ritual releasing of time to move, stuck energy, walking away, leaving your old reality to pursue a new one. Abandonment. Disappointment. So there was abandonment, there was disappointment. You're letting it go. You're moving on. So this could be for both parties. For the king. For the king of pentacles, for this wealthy, abundant person, and also for the queen of cups, the nurturing, loving mother. And I don't think I need to go any further. <laughs> Well, I just split it like that. And I just want to show you who's on my hand right here. Possibly the twin flame for the Queen of Cups. You got the King of Cups. <laughs> so you got the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. He's the guru. So Queen of Cups could be the high priestess. And then you got the King of Cups. That has to let go of his money. Because this was the... I don't know. That's how I see it. I could be wrong. You can take the story. He could possibly have been the devil. And that he used to give something back. Charitable. He was the enemy. That's it, and then there's a card right here. Oh, I gotta do it. There's a card right here that says justice. I got like some serious healing light like right in my face. And the Six of Wands, I just wanna read this real quick. Hopefully it doesn't cut out and then we're done. I hope it doesn't cut out, Six of Wands. I love you all. Six of Wands says, <clears throat> Badass success, leadership, accomplishment, being seen, coming an influencer, victory, optimism, inspiring others. Boy, yeah. Badass bitch. Didn't somebody say that earlier? I think somebody said that on a freaking YouTube earlier, which is kind of bizarre. All right, I love you all. It does say badass on that card. I love you, love and light.